Exams are stressful, but stress doesn't have to take over your life. If we understand the science of how it works, we can make it work for us. When faced with a potentially stressful situation, angry parents, driving tests, or yes, exams, the danger sensor in our brains, the amygdala, is activated. This alerts the nearby hypothalamus, sending a long-range message via the pituitary gland to the adrenal glands, which secrete the hormones adrenaline and cortisol into our body. Adrenaline increases our blood flow, speeding up our reflexes and sharpening our senses, and cortisol releases glucose, giving our body vital extra energy. This response, known as fight or flight, is our body's way of preparing us to tackle big challenges. But when stress levels get too intense, they can trigger negative symptoms, like difficulty focusing, tension headaches, nausea, and disturbed sleep. The good news is, scientists are working hard to figure out how we can keep our stress response balanced and healthy. Some cultures have used slow breathing to aid relaxation for centuries, and now scientists think they know why. Inhale, now exhale slowly. When we slowly exhale, the signals that control our heart rate are altered, making our heart beat more slowly, and a reduced heart rate helps us relax. Another trick is exercise. When we exercise, our bodies release feel-good chemicals that work in the same way as painkillers do, lifting our mood, reducing anxiety, and helping us to sleep. And sleep is especially important before exams because it helps reduce stress even more. Another area that scientists are investigating is socialising. Believe it or not, locking yourself away in your room for weeks on end is not good exam preparation. When revising, we should make some time to hang out with friends and family, as socialising is a scientifically proven relaxation booster. Scientists have been looking at our close cousins, chimpanzees, for evidence. When they tested chimps' urine, they found that levels of stress hormones were much lower when they'd been spending time with their chimp friends than when they'd been alone. And it seems the same is true for us. So, as your exams get closer, remember, a little bit of stress is no bad thing, just follow our simple tips and you can take control. Getting the right balance that works for you.